Hi, good morning, Carolyn's group. I am Carolyn, I am your Pamper Chef Consultant, and uh, I am gonna brave it and go live, even though I'm not 100% excellent at it. We always joke in our team that we're pampered and not perfect, but I do wanted to jump, I did wanna jump on here. At that's my son, that's Steven. Yeah. <laughs> go. Um, I wanted to uh, say a couple things, and then I wanted to show you I'm actually making um, some Alfredo sauce, pasta with Alfredo sauce. So I wanted to just show you that. But first, I just want to say thank you so much for being part of this group. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much if you've placed an order. My sincere thanks for that. I really do appreciate it. Hi, Allie Kay. I see you. Um, I uh, am very blessed with the Pamper Chef business. I've had it, I've been a, bit, a consultant for about six years. And at first I did it just for the stuff because I love the gadgets. I love the tools. I think they're excellent. And then I actually used it as a full income. Alexa, off. Um, then I kind of let it just kind of be my side gig. And I did it here and there, not very much. But I got the most beautiful reward from it. I got, um, I got to be a cooking teacher all because of it because of Pamper Chef. So I just feel very fortunate. And then to have you all here and enjoying the posts and kind of contributing and sharing recipes, it just means a lot to me. Oh, here's another one of mine. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. My, thank you for the orders. This is my only income right now. My, uh, I work for a company called City Sightseeing Worldwide and we are a tourist company and nothing's happening right now at all. And so when I was home with the kids, I'm kind of racking my brain, hi, Liz, um, about what I was going to do for income. This just came to me easily, and I appreciate it. And again, I appreciate you all being here. Now, switching really quickly to Alfredo sauce, right? Alfredo sauce. Quick and easy. So the first thing we have is, is the 12-inch skillet, which I believe is something that we are posting about today. Our, um, I'm going to put it down to maybe like medium high. And let that get hot. We're going to melt two tablespoons of butter. You know, my kids always say, can we have mac and cheese? And, you know, I don't really like to use the box if I can help it. I'm not saying I don't. Trust me, I use the box. But when I can, I'd rather just make a fresh one. And it's four ingredients. It's butter, flour, milk, and then whatever cheese you're, you're, you're using. So I have a, um, a pa uh, two tablespoons of butter in my pan. I'm going to see if I could do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, can I do handless? This is live, remember, people. Can I do this? Oh, here, maybe this way. Hold, please. Hold for technical difficulties. All right, can you see me? Yes, hi, okay, good. So. If you see, I boiled the pasta and it's got the um, boil over no more so that the pot, the water doesn't boil over the pan. So that's over there now where just resting. And I am melting my stick of butter. Oh, please hold. I need to get one tool. Hello. I like to use my silicone whisk because it's good for the nonstick pans. So we're gonna whisk that butter. We're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And this literally takes three minutes to make the sauce. My daughter, if I ordered from Italian food, my daughter would want a fettuccine Alfredo. That's what she loves. And that costs like 15, 20 bucks. I don't wanna spend 15, 20 bucks every time to get her fettuccine Alfredo when I can make this quickly. So butter, flour, cooking. Now the trick here is just to keep whisking until the, the flour smell and the flour taste is out. I can smell it and I'm used to it. I like it when it gets just a little bit brown and that's when I know that it's ready to go. I can still smell the flour now, so I'm just gonna keep mixing, keep whisking, keep whisking. And then when it starts to change color, just a drop to golden, I'm gonna add some milk. And this is your quick and easy, and this is really a roux, a French roux, and this could be a cheese sauce of any kind. It doesn't matter what flavor you want. Hi, Vavoom, I see you. Hello, hello. Um, so, all right, smells good, adding milk. 
and that's just going to warm up. We want it to bubble and then we want it to start thickening. So everything looks good, no clumps because I was whisking the whole time and it was just very smooth slurry. Now we have our milk warming up and that milk's been out for like, you know, five or 10 minutes. So it's not actually freezing cold from the fridge, which makes it even faster. Heating up the milk. Now just let that sit for a second and it'll bubble. 12 inch skillet. If I posted it, or if this post is coming, you'll see, never goes away. It stays on my, st on my stove top and look at it. Can you see this? Yes, you can. Um, this is the handle and it's one hand operation. You press the safety button and you slide the, the, the button, see the button right there? And the handle comes off again to put it on, slide it back, put it back on and there you got it. Ooh, and we're bubbling. And we're bubbling, can you see the bubbles? Liz, I see you, smell a vision Wait, it doesn't smell good yet. It just smells like cooked milk, but wait. Wait till you see. All right, so we're just gonna let that start to heat up and thicken. Oh yeah, it's getting thick fast. It doesn't take more than a couple seconds. Now it's thick. We're gonna just wait for it to get fully the consistency you want, because this is the end step, really. You're just gonna wait until it's as thick as you want your sauce to be. And you might not want it thick. You might want it creamy like this. At this point, if you wanted to do like a nacho sauce, I would just pull this off the stove right now and put in like cheddar and maybe some, uh, hey Jules, I see you. Um, maybe some paprika and some, um, some chili powder. That would be a nacho sauce, but we're doing Alfredo. So we want it a little bit thicker. And it's almost there, and my little girl's gonna be so happy. All right, and finally, if you can see over here, I grated some cheese. Now, when I do an Alfredo, I always do two different cheeses, usually whatever I have in the fridge. Well, it's not true. Usually I have Asiago in the fridge, and I have a, a, like a big wedge of Locatelli, uh, Pecorino Romano cheese. Those are my two usual go-to Alfredos. All right, this is hot, so I'm gonna, that's perfect consistency. I'm gonna take that off the heat. Um, but today, because it's a quarantine kitchen and I haven't gotten all of the cheeses that I need, I have a little bit of pecorino and I use my adjustable graters for that. See my adjustable graters? Now, Lainey, my daughter, loves this because I can just take this over a container and just grate right on top. But I created a couple of piles. So I did today I did what I had. Mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, and locatelli, uh, pecorino romano. And we're gonna add that to it. And then I have a little bit leftover of grated pecorino that I bought from a store. So I'm just gonna add that. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna grab, this is one of the new Pampered Chef um, wooden spoons. I love wooden spoons. I think it was traumatization from when I was a child, an Italian child, and now I'm the master of the spoon. So I'm gonna mix all this cheese into the goodiness. Put it on the, the warm burner just to make sure that it melts. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I could see it melting. I like when I put mozzarella in because then it really is like, like stringy, gooey goodness. Okay. Now the cheese just has to fully melt. And we're bubbling a little, that's okay. But you don't want full heat at this point. You just want it to melt. So you just want a little bit of heat to aid the milk that's, that, that's all um, thick. And let's see, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Mmm. Oh yeah, tastes perfect. Now, I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit, and a little bit. And then, I'm going to take a pasta and scoop some pasta out. There it is. Can you see? The pasta tonight. Okay. Loving this. See that? And I like to keep it like this because I like to use the um, pasta water in case I need to make it thick. We're mixing it in. And we have whoo, one got away. And we have a gorgeous fettuccine alfredo, or in this case today, penne, because we're in the quarantine and we're gonna use whatever we got because we're not just gonna run to Publix for one thing. Penne alfredo.
Voila. Bravo. You like it? See, see, see. Can you see? I can't even aim it. All ready to go for the little girl. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for being there for me while I'm going live. That was a little bit scary. I won't lie. Thank you for making me food. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, love to everybody. Thank you so much again for all your orders and your support and just for being here. Just for being here and just for letting me do my thing and have fun. Okay? Thanks, Carolyn. Love it. Bye. Bye, everybody.